guest is a legendary singer with songs like Tears of a Clown and Cruisin'. He's written songs like My Girl that will be played until the end of time. But y'all, at a sexy 83 years old, his newest album might be the most talked about yet. It's called Gasms. <laughs> And it is out today. Give it up for the one, the only, Smokey Robinson. Can I sit a little closer to you, Smokey? <laughs> you, I mean, I, it is so wonderful to meet you. I, these green eyes are driving me nuts. You, I mean, you, you are such a legend, and celebrities are, get so excited to meet you. And I have to tell you, I don't know if you remember, you were at the Friars Club, and you were singing, you were being honored, and Tracy Morgan and I jumped on stage. You called us up, mm -hmm. and we danced on I stage behind you. you. You remember? I I remember. Cherry, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it is so exciting to have you here. I'm, I'm, this album, people are going crazy over your new album, Gasms. Have you seen the reaction when the title and the track uh, list were released? I, I have. I saw you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, so, like, what do you think about, like, just the title, Gasms? Yeah. You know, did, did, what did you think? Did you know that it was going to cause so much controversy with that name? I, I was hoping so. That's, oh, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, why, that's why I did that, so people could say, well, what, gasms, what, you know, so, so yeah, what, what, I was hoping it would. You was, okay, so it yeah. did, it caused a lot of controversy. Yes. I mean, we dedicated a whole segment to gasms. I saw it. <laughs> okay, now, what, how did you come up with the name gasms? I, I was just, uh, well, I was at the piano, really, and I was just thinking about, I started some, some new songs. I, okay. Some of these songs I've had for a while, because uh, I've been working on this for about five years. Yeah. So, but, uh, and I was thinking, what would be controversial? Okay. And, and I, th I thought about gasms. And you thought gasms. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know. And gasms, like, what, is it, what, what, do you, what does it mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The reason I called it gasms is because I want to know what it means to you. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I wanted to give everybody the leeway to let it mean whatever it means to them. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know what gasms means to me. So I, I what, what I was gonna... <laughs> I, so what, what gives you gasms? Many things. Many things. Many things give me gasms. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Because well, the there's a lot of gasms, see, you know. It's a lot of gasms. A lot of gasms. I'm telling you, I, I, I didn't think looking at you, it, it's gasms going through my body. Well. Literally. <laughs> the Gasm Show, this is like... That's, that's can you idea. clap if you'd have had some Gasms with Smokey Rock yeah, Now ask them what it means to them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, look, Smokey, you, you came out, and just to see you grooving on stage, it looks like you're having Gasms on the stage. I do. Well, look at this. Look, look at... Smokey. You know what? What? That's the first time I ever saw that. Oh, really? <laughs> you, I, you know, to be the lucky one that you were staring at in the audience right there. <laughs> but, what I love is 
You look like you're having so much joy up there on that stage. I am, baby. That's why I still do this. This is why you still do this it? This is why I still do this. I don't, I don't find the joy that I get from being on stage and being doing concerts and being with the people and hanging out and we have a good time, you know? Yeah. I don't find that anywhere else in my life, so. Really? That's why, no, that's why I still do this. Oh, man. I remember when you performed at the Grammys and you received the Music Cares Person of the Year Award. And you were uh, with, it was with Barry Gordy. Yeah. So why did that mean so much to you? Because Barry Gordy is my best friend. Yeah. And, um, and, and um, they had never done anything like that before. They had never yeah. given a duo award like that. And when they called me and told me that they were gonna do that, I was really, really, really happy because like I said, he's my best friend and I think he deserves every award that you could possibly have in the world. Yeah. Because he started a musical movement that uh, you know, has captivated the world. So, you know. It not only captivated the world, you and he captivated the world. You changed music forever with Motown. And so, you know, being at Motown, you, 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 both, were, you both were running Motown. You were writing hit songs. Do you remember, like, uh, thinking back on, on that part of your career, what do you remember most about Motown? Oh, uh, just the energy, babe. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, because uh, just a bunch of young people uh, making music. Uh -huh. And we had a lot of energy there. Mo the studio ran 24-7. Yes. You know, it was always somebody in doing their music or whatever. It's so much so that we had to buy another studio in Detroit yeah. to, to accommodate everybody. But it was just energy. It was just a long... And see, the thing about Motown also mm -hmm. is the fact that we were not just musical stable mates, whereas we recorded for the same label, we saw each other and said, hey, how you doing, man, something like that. We were brothers and sisters and we hung, yes. hung with each other. We went to each other's homes. We did picnics, we did games, we did everything. Speaking of games, man, you are fierce. I've seen you all, all the time on Pyramid, you are fierce. Oh, you know, man, yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell you, yeah. if you were single, we could play a $100,000 Pyramid, you and me. <laughs> See what you do? <laughs> Doggy, I love you. But it's so funny because as you talk about, you were all friends in Motown, and I can yeah. remember different events, like a woman named Diana Ross. Yes. What do you remember about Diana Ross back then? Uh, I, well, see, I remember Diana Ross, and she was eight years old because she lived right down the street from me. Oh, I, man. I, yeah, I brought her to Motown. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so I remember her from being kids together, you know? And, uh, she's did you know she could belt it out the way she did? I, I did because uh, my group and I, we were actually called the Five Chimes then, but every, there was a thousand groups in our neighborhood, okay? Yeah. And we were called the Five Chimes, and many times we used to rehearse at my house. And when we did, she would come down, she'd sit on the steps and be singing with us and all. So I always knew that if somebody really heard her voice, right. that she would be a hit because it was different. Okay. When you hear Diana Ross, you knew it was Diana Ross. You, know? you knew it was Diana Ross. Yeah. Now, what about this group? The Jackson Five. What, what about them? <laughs> the Jackson Five was uh, their lead singer. <laughs> yes. Was the most phenomenal uh, young man I think I've ever seen uh, at his age. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he, they, 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 they came to Barry's house, actually. Really? To audition. Uh -huh. And I'm looking at this little guy. He's about 10 years old. And after the audition was over, I went over and I said, you are Jackie Brown, because wow. he was a cross between Jackie Wilson and James Brown. Yeah. And he was, he was doing it. He was doing he it. He was doing it. I mean, you know, he was just so talented at that age. But Michael was a person, when we had the shows and stuff, he watched everybody. Mm. After they got through, he would change his clothes. He was just standing in the wings and watch everybody. He wanted to be Michael Jackson. Mm. So, yeah, he was very talented. It's so much, Smokey. It's so much that you know, and you 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 just know everybody, and you know so many things. I I I heard that they're making a biopic of your life. Is that true? That's true. A biopic. That would be so wonderful to see. Have you do you know who you would want to play you? Uh, the best actor that they can choose <laughs> to, to do, to do it. You know you know Sherry. I don't care if it's somebody brand new, as long as they can do the job, or yeah. if it's somebody that's really popular. As long as they can do the job, you know. You know, I was thinking about that. You know who I think would be amazing playing you, who? Smokey? Jesse Williams. Do you know Jesse Williams? Yeah, I do. This one right here, yeah. right? I know. I don't know. He just, 
I saw him in a play, and then he was giving me <laughs> orgasms and gasms. Ooh. In the, See? In the play. See, that was your gasm. That was or my gasm. Yeah, orgasm. Yeah, <laughs> my, yeah that was my orgasm. Yeah. This is my gasm right here. <laughs>